guys, it's Tracy, and I was just going to share a really quick little haul with you. Um, I went to Michael's today, and I went in there with the intentions of getting some of the corrugated um, card stock cards. I've seen people, you know, show them, and I went in there, you know, I was going to use my 40% off coupon on them, and when I got in there, the box was really, really big, and I didn't want, I mean, the box was like big, and it was $12.99, and I'm sorry, but even with my 40% off coupon, I wasn't going to go that far, because I really only needed it for like four cards, but, um, so I had to go a different route, and I went over to look at the corrugated paper, because I noticed that they had that too, and it was $1.99 a sheet, and I'm like, and it was, you know, 12 by 12. I'm like, really? I can, I can make my own corrugated paper at home anyway. So I, I just missed that. But I did find, and I did pay the $1.99 for it. But I, I got the, um, a piece of, um, cork, cork paper. And I'm pretty sure, yes, it's adhesive on the back. So, um. This is, it was $1.99 too, but this is like real cork paper. And so I'm going to use that in a project. And then I picked up, I, my Michaels finally restocked their Studio G stuff. And I've been seeing everybody pick up the little things from Studio G that I could never find. So I picked up some more adhesive dots because a girl can never have too many adhesive dots. And I picked up, where did they go? Here they are. Um, these are. I went in there. I was so excited. I actually squealed. Um, I picked up this stamp set because I've been looking and looking. This is the whole reason why I've been stalking their Studio G stuff was for this little stamp set. Who knew that a little dollar fifty stamp would make me so happy? But this is adorable. And then I found this one, and this one is the um, this is the one that actually go right. Looks like the washi tape. And then, I guess they all three kind of look like pieces of washi tape, but I love those. And I've been on the lookout for stamps with arrows in them, and so, you know, both of these would work really well. And then I picked up this one because it's just too stinking cute. It has the cute little clouds, and then there's the little thing. And then I picked up, I think I'm done with these now. I think I've got every pack so far that I wanted. And this is the, um... The little recollections with mirrors and okay this is really aggravating I don't know if you guys can hear that thumping sound <laughs> I apologize but there is nothing worse there's nothing more that drives me crazy than to hear somebody's bass turn so low that my windows rattle it drives me bonkers okay back to what I was talking about um, so all of their um, embellishments the recollections embellishments are 40% off right now so I pick these up um, I picked up these were really cool and uh, you know what I've been I've passed them by so many times and today I actually stopped and looked at them and I'm glad that I did these have been on clearance at my store can you see that um, and they're made by um, Tombow and they're hook and loop tabs glorified you know velcro but the neat thing about these is that they're very low profile. These were on clearance for $1.99. These are extremely low profile. I'm going to show them to you. So these would be perfect on a scrapbook page or um, a mini album if you're wanting to close up a certain part. Look at how thin these are. And that is both pieces. That is both pieces of the hook and loop. That is the thinnest I have ever ever seen and so these are going to be awesome to work with if you've got a little journaling spot that you really want to keep closed or you know if you've got a little envelope that you want to close up you know but that you could open or um, even a mini album and you want to make a closure for it so this is made by Tombow I don't know if your stores have them too but these were on clearance okay while I was perusing over there in the cards I found this pack of recollections cards and envelopes on clearance for $1.99 and you know it's a pretty basic color it actually has a little bit of a pearlescent sheen to it but I thought for that price you know I you know it's it's always good to have there are 
10. There are 10 in here and they're 5 by 7 size. And so I picked them up thinking this will be awesome. I have to tell y'all I am really ticked off because whenever you look at something like this and it says cards and envelopes, you would assume that there are cards and envelopes in here. Well, there are envelopes in here. This is what they are considering a card. It is one piece of 5 by 7 paper. It's not scored. I mean, I was sitting there digging at it, trying to open it up, thinking, you know, what's going on? It's one piece of 5 by 7 paper. And I'm guessing that they would use this for, like, invitations or something like that, you know, like a formal type thing that you would just slide into the envelope. But I was under the impression that I was getting 10 cards and 10 envelopes. So, yeah. Um, that kind of messed me up. <laughs> um, I did pick up these, um, the Me and My Big Ideas. They're from the Pocket Pages line, and these are the cards that would work like within Project Life or a, you know, they're fantastic journaling cards. And I'm going to open these up because um, I'd like to share them really quick. I've seen a lot of people show these, but you really can't tell what... And oh my gosh, these are like sealed up like Fort Knox. Um, you really can't tell just by looking at the front package, you know, what you're getting. And so, and I just, see now I just realized that they're not all the 3 by 5s or 3 by 4s There's actually 4 by 6s too. So in this pack, it comes with 72 pieces. And you get a stack of just, oh, I take that back. Okay, so they're different. I'm glad I looked. Um, you get some that have, and they're very much like the Becky Higgins ones. I've never actually laid my hands on them, so I couldn't tell you the quality versus, um, Project Life Becky Higgins ones, but, um, you, they have like little dots on the back and then the graph style on the front, and then, you know, like there's several of those. They're just blank, so you could stamp on them, do what you want, and then it starts with the ones on the top where you got remember today again the back sides of these are blank so you can do what you want with them too memories the story these are very versatile because there's it's not really a theme you know you've got a lot of different things in here I like this one noted details so I mean the colors are very versatile there's some with some tab tab likes on the top and um, there's just a lot of different options that you can do with this so those are really cool and then you do get a small set of the 4x6 size so there you go I just wanted to share those because I haven't seen anybody share them and I was curious to know what they were like on the inside too so there you go, and um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be having a giveaway coming up pretty soon. It's not going to be big, but um, I'm going to be having a giveaway. I've been cleaning out a little bit in here, and I've got a lot of extras on things. And if people don't mind um, participating in a giveaway, that you might be regifted something that was now a lot of the stuff is not like old, you know, old old, but it might be a year, you know, some of it's new. But um, if you don't mind receiving, you know, a possible rack from, you know, a giveaway that would contain things that may be from older collections. And some of my items have been used, you know, a couple of times. And, and when I say that, I have some um, sprays and um, things like that that I only used a couple of times and the, either the color wasn't right for me or... Um, you know, I have colors very similar to them, so I don't want to just let them, you know, hang around. I'd like for somebody else to be able to use them. So, if you're interested, before I even post this giveaway, if you're interested in this type of thing, that you might be re-gifted with something that someone else just tried and didn't like, um, just post below and let me know so I can get some feedback. I don't want to put it out there and then, you know, nobody really want to receive, th you know, things like that. So. I do have a lot of trims and laces and ribbons and stuff that I'm no longer using and I would definitely like to share them with somebody who would enjoy them. So let me know. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. I know I am. I had a long weekend. 
and I'm looking forward to it. So we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good day.